Rod? Hey, hey James, do you have any type of message for uh, Derek when the rules are going on early in the game? Well, from my position, I'm always lifting Derek up. Um, but from the city's position, like, I agree with Tyron. I believe that we got to give them something to cheer for. Um, I, I know that's, uh, that can be difficult at times, but he was very resilient. He answered the, the bell. Um, but to the fans, like, we function off your support. And I know that we got to come in and give you all something to cheer for, but just know that you, imp you impact us because we're trying to, to lift you up. We're trying to uh, put on a show for you. So your support, uh, your cheering, um, the inspiration that you give us is, this is why we do this. We do this for you. Um, we won't have a job if it wasn't for you all. So I just encourage all of y'all to, to get behind us. Like that's what this city is about. This city is about resilience. This city is about, you know, building and staying together. And, uh, and despite our record, despite what's the situation that's going on, we got to stand together because only, only people that can fix this is us. And that's y'all included. That's the fans, that's the team, uh, and, and that's it. Yeah, my, my biggest thing is just continue to lift him up. Like when you are a starting NFL quarterback, like a lot of a lot of things come with that. Uh, but he's handling it the right way. Uh, he's out. He's going out there doing his job. He's out there going out there fighting for his team, uh, and, and that and that's that. Yeah, any, any, any teammate that I have, I'm going to lift them up. I'm going to speak life into them, despite what anyone ha can say. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we all out here, we're doing this for, for the glory of God. We're, gonna, we're doing this to glorify the Lord. We're not doing this for no man. We're not doing this for no woman. Like, it's not, it's not, for, it's not for that. Like, as a team, like, the Saints are offense, defense, special teams, and our fans. Like, we are a team. Like, our fans are a part of our team. Like we know, I, I mean, I've, I've been on the opposite side and seen how this place was rocking and how that affected, you know, the, the other team. Like, but we all are one. So if you are part of the Saints, I'm going to speak life into you. I'm going to lift you up, whether that's Derek, whether that's, uh, you know, a specialist. It, it doesn't matter who it is. We are together and we got to stay together. We got to stick together. We got to dig down and just keep believing and have faith. Yeah, it don't. I don't. It doesn't matter about them. I'm talking about us. I'm talking about who we are. We're the Saints, and since I've been a part of this organization, uh, we have always found a way uh, to overcome any type of adversity, and we always stuck together, all right? Because that's what it is. That's that Southern love. That's that. That's that New Orleans love, right? That's that gumbo, a bunch of different mixtures, putting together in a pot, and you make something beautiful. And we still have an opportunity to make something beautiful. Uh, we just got to have our, our fans support, faith. As a team, we have to go out there and put on a show, uh, do our job. I have to do my job better. Everyone has, has accountability in this, uh, and we're going to continue to uh, increase and, uh, and speak life uh, and, and push forward. Seamus, uh, how frustrating not to be able to come one, one more, get one more drive in the end zone there at the end. Uh, I, I think just the entire game, playing from behind uh, as, a, as a team, we want to get on top. We want to start dominating our, po our opponent from the rip, um, and uh, and that's going to be our mission for this upcoming week. How about for you? This, this is kind of an interesting season for you. You've now had three different games where you, you don't know at the beginning of the day if you're going to play or not. Um, you want to put your best football out there, but it's been some urgent situations sometimes. Like that. How, how tough is that to to play under uh, under that situation? I'm, I'm I'm grateful for every yeah. uh, opportunity. Uh, I, I I view it as you know a baseball perspective as the closer coming in uh, any given time or a reliever coming in any given time no matter if it's nine runs if you're if you're down nine zero no matter if you're up you know ten nothing like you coming in there to to do a job and do your best uh and 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 try to just go well not try but go out there and put on your best performance Jameson, alvin had a pretty historic day today just how important was he to the success that y'all were able to find off? Well, he like everything that we do goes through him. Like he's the best player on our team, uh, and that's what he expects. That's what we expect out of him. 
uh, I, I'm just I'm grateful to be his teammate, and I'm, I'm proud of him. I'm proud of how he comes to work every single day. When you are in the locker room with a Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame guy, you know they can just you know do whatever they want to do. But he comes with an approach. He shows up on game day and puts on the show for all of us. Can you talk about being able to come back and how you can channel that maybe that fight as far as going through this final stretch of the season? Well, I think it just starts with, with one play at a time. And when you're fighting from behind, you're desperate. You know what I'm saying? You want it. It's like you want it. Like you don't want to go out there and, and get beat. You know, I think that just starts with the initial punch. Like you got to be desperate. Like, desperate. When you think about the, the most influential boxes, like they going in there and every punch matters. Every time they, they take a they take a punch, it, it matters. They're desperate for victory. They're desperate for a win. And I think that that level of, of just want to, that level of hunger kind of propels you uh, in those situations. Do you expect that desperation will be present for this team for – the remaining five games of the season. I, I, I do. Trailing. I do. From your vantage point, what will be the keys to string up some wins going down the stretch? Uh, it starts one play at a time. Doing our job to the best of our abilities, one play at a time. Can, can I ask you a totally different topic? Your school being left out of the playoff, what your reaction is to it? My initial reaction, I was, I was hurt, uh, especially with the, the defensive performance that we put on, uh, the amazing job by uh, our head coach, Mike Norvell, uh, for finding a way to wheel a championship you know, with his, his third string quarterback. Um, I, I think that it's way bigger uh, than what we can see from the naked eye. Uh, however, uh, Florida State, uh, you, you are continuing to have an incredible season, continue to, to persevere regardless of the naysayers or regardless who uh, tries to limit you from your destiny. Uh, we're still not finished. We, we still got to go and finish strong. And I just commend, you know, Mike Norvell and uh, that team for rallying behind Jordan uh, and playing great football, you know, going into the swamp, uh, playing against a tough team. Anytime you're in a rivalry game, it's going to be a tough game. You saw that with Alabama and Auburn. I think Alabama's a team that they put in front of us uh, and finishing strong. Like when you're a champion, uh, that feels good. Uh, and I'm, I'm just proud of, of, of those guys. I'm proud of our head coach. Uh, for uh, bringing another championship uh, to, to, to Florida State. Thanks, All right, thanks. <laughs>